So now that we've completed uh, core and ITC, we, we move on to what is called a master's. What are some of the main learning students explore in master's and why do you think they are significant? So master's is a lot about beliefs and identity um, and allows we introduce and work with a lot of frames and a lot of filters that allow us to see deeper into what's going on with somebody and to understand how their belief system works. And I'm not talking about religious belief, but just their like belief about the world being safe or what a certain facial expression means or those kinds of things. Um, it allows the students who want to work with other people, the filters in the skill set to be really effective working with somebody. Um, and it allows them to be much more elegant at what they do, and it allows the practitioner to work a little, a lot less hard than they would work if they were just trying to do it with the core skills. In the process, the awareness of self and the appreciation, and to me this is the, the big thing, the deep, deep, deep appreciation for who we are is, is created and built in the master's class. Um, there is this magical thing that happens in masters where the people that may have annoyed you the most in your early training suddenly become your biggest teachers and somebody you can laugh about how much you annoyed each other. <laughs> um, and some of the, and there is a, a, coming to a peaceful place with each with yourself and each other that is just gorgeous and some of the stuff in the masters is really really deep um there's a lot of learning that you're going to survive a lot of things you maybe didn't know you were going to survive and you're laughing the whole way in as you're being terrified and the whole way out as you're realizing you survived it um to me masters is where a lot of deep work gets done and people who come out of masters who don't want to be practitioners are just able to move around and function in their lives in a really different way and in a way that frees them up immensely. And oftentimes if they are married or they have a family, everyone in the family benefits from it. By the end of masters, most families, most partners are like really excited to have their partner go off to the weekend. <laughs> Right. You know, they know they're going to come back a little bit tired, but they also know that life begins to change and gets better each weekend. Yeah. Um, and because it's eight months and because you have study groups, um, the, the building of friendships and the building of community is so strong and so sweet yeah. and sometimes a little rambunctious. A lot of rambunctious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this just does. Um, and, you know, you all start start kind of knowing each other's patterns and you see the benefit in all the patterns and you see the difficulty. Yeah. When you can when you can really understand somebody, understand some of their patterning and go, yeah, that really gets in your way sometimes. And dang, it really helps you over here, doesn't it? There's just like that that appreciation for the entire world increases. Yeah. So. Um, so what are yeah. some things that a master's level practitioner can do uh, that a core level practitioner can't? Or um, the about? master practitioner can spot and, um, how do I say this? Can identify a belief in, within a conversation and can help assist the client to shift the belief if they want to. Um, a core a core practitioner is going to have is going to be mostly working with um, behavior and capability level changes. Um, the master practitioner is going to be working with belief and identity level changes. Um, the master practitioner also is going to be able to understand some of the kind of hard more hardwiring that the person has. Um, the things that are less likely to change but better to utilize um, and able to 
understand how some of the things this is where we add a lot of psychology and how some of the things were created and developed such that the person is is interacting with the world that they're interacting based on what happened to them when they were very little. And having that knowledge allows you to be able to help create change and to fill in gaps from childhood within the person, which a core practitioner might not even know to look for. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, definitely there's like a, a deeper set of tools that you're yeah. able to go with somebody within a conversation. So what makes a master's NLP at NLP Marin different from other NLP trainings? My experience of that is that other NLP trainings, when you take a master's class, you come out with some of the same skills, but there's a much heavier concentration on language patterns and hypnosis language and kind of slick things you can do to change the person. Whereas our master's students come out with a patience and a, a desire and a passion for understanding before changing. So in other masters, it's, it's, it's how to make change happen faster and quicker and more efficiently. And in ours, it's about creating a lot more understanding of what's going on and there's a lot of change. But for me, in the process of understanding and in the process of helping the client understand how it is that they ended up where they are, the self-appreciation is so much larger and whatever brilliance and creativity and strength that went into creating things the way they are gets freed up to create things the way you want them to be. Mm. So when you work with somebody to just change something, you become the instrument of their change as a therapist. So when they want another change, they have to come back to you to do it. When you work in an NLP Marin way, you are also empowering the client so the client doesn't always have to come back to you they can do a lot of the shifting themselves out you know after a certain amount of time they know how to do it themselves and so they are completely empowered in their life yeah uh, it's very fun as a practitioner when somebody who's been coming pretty regularly you know like once a month or once every two or three weeks or once a week stops booking sessions and they come back six months later and tell you how much has happened in their life and how exciting it's been. And it's, you know, it's like they, they need you for a while and then they're, they're, they are their own support system. They are their own strength. And that's just like a wonderful thing to see. Yeah. Um, because the other one, the other one, when you make the, make the clients dependent on you for change is to me, it's more taking something away from the client. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a powerful thing to powerful philosophy to to be teaching to allow whether somebody decides to go on to be a practitioner or just use it the, the tools themselves, but if you are a pra practitioner to allow your clients to to set it up for themselves to fix themselves and I think that's that's that speaks volumes to, to NLP Marin and what the what you guys want to accomplish. There's a there's a core learning that happens sometime in masters. Um, so I guess it's a master's learning. Uh, <laughs> there is this point where, and students hit it at different times, but where they understand like through their entire body that experience is something that can be changed. And they, it's not that you stop having difficulty in your life. It's that when you have difficulty, you have a different sense of it. And there's hope always in something changing. If you don't like where you are, you know that it can shift. Um, and it took me a long time to realize that most adults don't have that. Mm -hmm. Because I was a kid when I started in NLP. People say, what, you know, how is life different with NLP? I cannot really answer that 
because I never made it all the way to, you know, kind of full legal adult 21 without these skills. I had them going into that. Um, so it took me a while to learn that most people don't, don't kind of know inside how much can change. Um, what comes with that also is a responsibility for choosing your life that can be kind of scary for people too. So, you know, I watch a lot of students as they hit it. Um, it can be both in a really exciting and difficult place. And then when they get to the other side of it, there's a, a settling down within themselves that happens that um, it's just really fun to watch. It's really fun to see them kind of get that. To me, that's a massive step in empowerment. And is there a, a time when you see more or less change for master's um, students than like in core, or is it just a deeper level, or it just depends, I guess? It's an individual thing. Some students come in the first weekend of core and their entire life changes. And some people swear nothing changes all the way through master's, and then the last weekend of master's, something happens. Mm -hmm. Um, and some people have cha small change all along and are wondering when they're going to have the big change until, and then they look back to where they started. People respond differently. So it's, I, you, that's the fun thing is you never know when a light bulb's going to go on for somebody. And as a trainer, sometimes you're just saying kind of the most common thing that you, or thing you think is common and somebody in the room goes, oh! <laughs> 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 and you're like, oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> Heads in the back are exploding. Are like mass <laughs> yeah, every, every now and then you think something is massively profound. Everybody's like, yeah, yeah okay, got it. Um, <laughs> but you just, it, you never know what exactly is going to make the difference for somebody or when things, when things are going to just kind of align in a way that allows them to have some more ease. But you know it will happen. And that's mm -hmm. to me the the thing that over the years I have I have built and I have just so much more faith in. So I can watch a student who's who's having a lot of trouble or difficulty, and I just know they're going to get it at some point. And it might be their third time through masters, and it might be next month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, it just that knowing allows me just to be with the person wherever they are. Which is what you kind of learn in masters, right? Yes, is how to where, where they are, at the same time assisting them to change. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Which is a really hard concept for somebody to get unless they've been in that seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, excellent. Thank you.